of those Arab countries look around the region and see Iran's influence growing. For example, the U.S. closed its embassy in Yemen after a radical Islamist rebellion in the country. As Eric Stickleback explains, Yemen is an important part of Iran's strategy in the Middle East. When a radical Shiite Muslim sect called the Houthis seized Yemen's capital city of Sana'a last year, it marked a dangerous new phase for a country that has long been plagued by violent chaos. Yemen is located on the southern tip of the Arabian Peninsula and is already home to an Al-Qaeda branch that has directed several attacks against the U.S. and Europe. Now the rise of the Houthis opens the door to yet another terrorist presence. You look at the fall of the government of Yemen, who was allied, which was allied with the United States, helping us in our efforts to silence al-Qaeda. And you see the Iranian Quds forces behind training and arming that effort. Iran has long been suspected of funding and arming the Houthis, whose official slogan sounds very familiar to that of Iran's government. Death to America, death to Israel, damnation to the Jews. Iran's support of the Houthis seems to be paying off as it eyes a bigger prize. That was not a local issue. Yemen is a historical invasion route to Saudi Arabia. Yemen controls the very critical access of oil tankers from the Indian Ocean to the Red Sea and the Mediterranean. Middle East expert and former Israeli ambassador Yoram Edinger says Yemen is an important chess piece in Iran's larger plan of regional domination. Iran is leveraging Hezbollah in Lebanon, Hamas in Gaza in order to further destabilize the region in order to destabilize pro-American Arab regimes. In addition to Lebanon and Gaza, Iran is using its radical allies to gain influence in Yemen, Syria, and among Shiite leaders in Iraq. These moves leave Israel and another Iranian rival, Saudi Arabia, in hostile surroundings. Edinger says the ultimate target, however, is the United States. The Iranians are pursuing a very clear anti-American tactic, and the reason is they consider the U.S as the major obstacle on the road of attaining their major goal, namely the domination of the Gulf. No country in the world but the U.S. can stop Iran from taking over the Gulf and then the Muslim world. Iran is reportedly working to develop intercontinental ballistic missiles that could one day reach the United States. Israeli satellites recently captured footage of an Iranian missile and launch site that could be equipped with such missiles. That, quite frankly, is just going to open up a Pandora's box of uh, new uh, a new world situation that is going to be very bad for the security of that, that whole region and ultimately I think security of the, of the entire uh, world. Eric Stackelbeck, CBN News, Washington.